My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control Software Tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. In this tutorial, Performing File Conversions Part 2 via Batch Convert Files Process, we'll cover the technique used to convert a single or multiple CINE files to one of the many supported file formats using the Batch Convert Files command. PCC provides us with the ability to convert supported file formats to image stacks, a series of images, and or a different movie-like format that could be handed off to colleagues or put into a presentation. There are two ways to convert files. We can convert a file using the save process described in the editing and saving your first CINE tutorial. Or we can convert multiple CINE files using the batch convert files toolbar button. So let's talk about using the batch convert files method to convert and save CINE files. This method allows me to convert a single CINE or multiple CINE files with a single command, the batch convert files command. As you will see, this process will be very similar to what we just did in the Processing File Conversions File Save Process tutorial, with some minor differences. Just as I did before, I'm going to close all open panels so not to confuse the process, and start by clicking on the Batch Convert Files button. In the Open CINES dialog window, I'll navigate to the folder containing the CINE or CINE files I wish to convert. In this case, the C colon Program Files Phantom CINES Class CINES folder. To select consecutive files, I'll highlight the first file to be converted, hold down the Shift key, and select the last file to be converted. As you can see, the files that will be converted are highlighted. To select multiple files to convert that are not consecutive, I'll highlight the first file, hold the control key, and select the files to be converted until all the files to be converted are selected. For this tutorial, I'm going to convert the ball, butterfly, and car crash 3 CINE files. Notice the file names have been added to the file name field. The next step is to click the open button. PCC now opens the Multi-File Convert Destination dialog window. Once again, I need to navigate to the folder where I'm going to save the converted CINE files. For this tutorial, I'm going to save these converted files into the C colon Programs Files Phantom CINE Tutorials folder. The next thing I need to do is select the format I want to convert the files to. I'm going to convert them to AVI files by opening the Save as Type field pull-down selection list and select AVI from the list. Since I'm converting the files into a movie-like format, I don't need to enter the full file name in the Files field, only the dot extension type. This is because PCC will automatically assign the name of the files being converted to the converted AVI file. We'll take a look at this a little later. If I was converting these CINE files into an image stack, I would only need to enter the special character, the number of digits to append, and the dot .file extension into the Files field. I don't need to enter the root file name like I did when I used the Save button to convert files. This is because the PCC software will create a folder with the name of the file and file names with the appended information or digits when we convert the files using the batch convert files method. The last step I'm going to perform here is to specify the range of images to convert and save. Selecting the mark in mark out option instructs PCC to convert the images within the mark in and mark out points specified in the sitting editor bar. Since I have not re-edited any of the files being converted, PCC would be converting the full CINE. Full CINE instructs PCC to convert and save every image associated with the CINE being converted. If I were to select user defined, I could specify the first and last image numbers to save. 
However, this range must be valid for all the cines being converted. Therefore, I am going to select the full cine option, since I have not re-edited any of the cines, nor do I know the valid range of images of each of the files to enter without verifying that information prior to starting the batch convert process. The remaining save options will be covered in the Applying Border Data and Other Save Options video tutorial. To start the conversion process, I'll click on the Convert button. If the folder the converted files are being saved to contains any files, PCC will display a warning message, basically informing us that the folder is not empty and the existing files may be overwritten, asking us to confirm the action to take. OK says to proceed while Cancel stops the conversion process. Since we're converting these files to an AVI format, an AVI's options dialog window opens, asking me to specify the playback frame rate of the AVI files being created. I'm going to enter a playback frame rate of 12 frames per second. The next thing I need to specify is the video compressor I want to use to convert the files. It's important to note, when the converted file is being handed off to someone else to review on a different computer, they must have the video codec, coder decoder, loaded on their computer. This available list is dependent on the version of PCC being used to convert the files. The 64-bit version provides five different codecs, as you see here, whereas the 32-bit version allows me to use any codec that is installed on my computer. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the MJPEG compressor. Some of the codecs available with the 32-bit version of PCC allow you to specify various codec parameters which are codec dependent. Depending on the codec selected, PCC allows us to specify the compression quality we would like to apply to the converted file. The more you compress the file, the smaller the file will be, but more likely to reduce its quality. I'm going to slide this to 100%. Now that I am ready to convert the files, I'll start the process by clicking the OK button. Notice the PCC software opens a batch file conversion progress display window, indicating which file is presently being converted and how much of the file has been converted. It also shows us how much of the overall conversion process has been completed. Once all the files are converted, the batch file conversion window will display operation complete. I can now close the batch file conversion window and take a look at what I just did. Before I continue, I'm going to minimize the PCC application, open Windows Explorer, and navigate to the folder containing the files I just converted. Notice the ball, butterfly, and car crash tree files were created along with their associated .chd cine header files. We can now review these files in any AVI media player, such as Windows Media Player or VLC Media Player, just to name a few. Or we can review the file in PCC by opening the file using the Open File Toolbar button and playing the file using the Video Control buttons. So that's another way that we can convert multiple Cine files into different file formats, either as a set of individual frames inside a folder or a self-contained movie-like format just like we just did.